Let's make a fork tube. So today we're in the machine shop and we're making fork tubes on this machine behind me. We typically like to have a lot of automation in our process. And because of the size and shape of these fork tubes, it doesn't lend itself well. You can see some of the parts over here. They come in as raw material to the machine and exit as a finished part without an operator ever touching them. However, the fork tube, we have a blank, an op one, an op two, and an op three. Each one of these ops requires an operator to unload them and load them. So first we need to talk about why we're using a blank and not just raw material. We found that 7075 tubing is not an off the shelf material and therefore we had to source it ourselves. So first let's look at op one. We clamp on this diameter here and we're going to be finished turning this end. On op two, we flip the tube around and we now clamp on the center section and we finish this end and the ID. So for op three, we head to a second machine that's set up specifically for the OD work. We hold it between centers and we finish the center section. One of the difficulties with op two is we have to machine the inner diameter and we hold a tolerance of two thou. Two thou is about the width of a human hair. So how do we machine such tight tolerances? Well, we have to use very specialized tools. And in this case, we're using this specialized boring bar that has a harmonic damper on the inside to cancel out vibrations. So now we have a complete finished machine tube, but this is just the first step in a long process to making a fork. 